One of the great things with Equid is the way it helps you keep in touch with your customers. If you're following along, head over to Settings and Mail, and we're going to talk about how to edit the templates for email notifications and invoices. They both use the same structure. In email notifications, we've got customer notifications, admin notifications, and customer marketing emails. Well, let's take a quick peek at the order confirmation email. And I've already covered the definitions for all of the things we're looking at here in a previous video. And you should probably take a look at that first if this looks like Greek to you. Let's talk about editing the markup first. So you've probably recognized that this is a series of nested tables within one massive table. I've copied this and I've pasted it into a good text editor. And I'm gonna suggest that you do this anytime you want to dabble in editing templates. It's a great idea to do it in a separate text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, it's free. It works on the Mac and the PC. The value of doing this is you get the sidebar that lets you see all of the structure of your tables, as well as the color coding for each element in your emails. And that's really helpful. One last thing before we continue, if you completely mess this up, and you will, <laughs> there is a revert to default button here, which will save your life. You should know, however, it reverts to the original version of the template, not your last set of changes. And this is why I recommend using an external text editor. You can undo changes, save changes. Most importantly, you can keep active backups of all of your templates. You'll look down here on the right and you can see how deep these nested tables go. You'll also notice there is a style sheet that is attached to this email when it's used inside of Equid, and you as a user cannot edit that. You can add your own styles and you can delete classes, but again, you cannot edit a class. All right, so with that in mind, let's just take a quick peek. Here, you'll notice that this is the header. Now, what does the header look like? Well. It is the first table nested in the main table. And then we have a row class of email title. Now, once again, you can't edit that. So for instance, the title of your email is an H1 tag with a series of styles applied to it and a message at rosetta.message key equals order confirmation title. So let's say I wanted to edit both the H1 style and this message. That's really simple to do. I'm gonna change the font size from 30 to 20. Now let's go take a look and see what that does. I'm gonna select all of that. Now the reason I'm selecting all and pasting all is that way I don't make mistakes just pasting a piece of the code. It's up to you. You can do either one you want. Paste and save and preview. And you'll notice that that is indeed 20 point font. But what if I wanted to actually change what this text is? Well, you may remember from the previous video that we are not able as end users to edit these at Rosetta messages, but I can certainly delete it. I can just get rid of it altogether. Hey, thanks for your order. Here's the confirmation. Copy all of that, head back over, save, and let's take a look again. And there's my new confirmation header. So in two easy steps, we change the HTML and we change the messages. Here is the at rosetta.message key is order confirmation customer underscore greeting with the parameters of customer name colon customer name. If I delete that, there's no way I can actually personalize this email via just straight text that I can enter. And this is where variables come in. I'm gonna head over to the notification variables help page at the link on the screen, and I'm gonna find name. There it is, displays customer name. You'll grab the dollar and the curly brackets in order to do this. Head back over to my code. And now once again, I'm going to need to delete this complete line. Now, 
in case I don't want to delete it, I can actually just comment it out. And I did that on a Mac by pressing Command slash at the beginning of the line. And on a PC, you press Control slash. Now, down here then, I'm going to say, Hi, customer name, with a comma. Select that. Now you'll notice if I'm here at the top again, my Rosetta message has been commented out and I have the word hi and dollar customer name. Let's click save. And now it says, hi, John Darling. So now a couple of things we've covered already. We've covered changing the HTML. We've changed out one of the messages and used one of the preset variables. You can go through this entire email following this pattern finding messages and variables that you want to use in a different way and simply replace them as you go. Scrolling down to line 535, we have the thanks for shopping with us message here just below the related items. Let's go ahead and edit that. Rosetta.message key order confirmation dot thanks. So now I'm just going to comment that out and you'll note it's an H2 so we can Again, change the style in the H2 tag if we want. I'm just gonna say, wow, thanks so much for shopping with us. You rock. Select all, hit paste, save. And let's preview that template again. And there it is. Wow, thanks so much for shopping with us. You rock. I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and experiment a little bit with this because when it's all said and done, you can revert to default and save. And now your message is completely back to the standard Equid message that you are editing. And you've got your changes saved in a text file. Now, this is a pretty complex topic. If you feel like you need some help, Equid provides a customization team that can develop a custom email template for your store so that you can send out exactly the kind of message that you want to your customers for both email templates and invoices. All right, hopefully you now know a little bit more about how your email and invoice templates are created and that you can edit them and make them your own.